Hello, my name is Peter Bieloslavik and I am pleased to invite you to enter the world of Unisys Conceptual Design. Unisys Conceptual Design was developed to simplify the design of complex projects. The objective of this simplification is to make things simple, to make it manageable and to deal with complex environments where the results do not depend fully on the one who is building a project. Therefore, I invite you to enter this world by understanding what is, what is behind. Behind the conceptual design are the, is the ontogenetic intelligence of nature which regulates nature. The discovery of this intelligence allowed finding the concepts that underlie and regulate living beings and the concepts that are managed by humans when they deal with reality. Now it is known that concepts guide human actions and therefore concepts, the knowledge of concepts and the conceptual design is a must when dealing with adaptive environments. The name Unisys deals with the management of the unified field of any function or any conjunction of functions. A business is treated, is managed as a unified field and each of the functions of business assets are managed as unified fields. The output of these unified fields in conceptual design is the definition of the process architecture, of the dynamic process architecture that allows defining the concrete processes. This uses the Unisys ontologies that define the concept that underlie each function. This technology allows saving more than 30% of the cost of projects, of complex projects. It ensures 99.5 the results to be obtained and saves more than 80% of the maintenance and improvement cost of the projects. It allowed, the, it allowed defining the intrinsic concepts that manage that manage and regulate living beings, as I mentioned before, and it allowed defining the concepts that underlie each function, which, which by definition are timeless, that means they, the concept remains while the function exists, and cross-cultural because it does not depend on particular situations of each culture. The, the essential concept, the structure of concept is transcultural while the operation is cultural. <clears throat> it is based on the no knowledge of the concepts, of the structure of the concept involved in each function. It is based on the use of maximal and minimum strategies to ensure results. Maximal strategies are that those that depend on the environment and minimum strategies are those that depend on the individual. The saving and the security of the processes is based on the development of objects that allow systematizing and structuring the processes where objects, roles and the processes are integrated in one. And finally, this process is based on using destructive tests to, to confirm the limits of the knowledge that is available and non-destructive tests to validate the results. I would like to end this presentation by honoring Mr. Ishikawa, who was a Japanese organizational theorist and wise man who was the first person who developed in the world the concepts of industrial efficiency and efficacy. This honoring is a way to pay the price to him for what he introduced and allows nowadays introducing the Unisys conceptual design approach as a massive multiplier of results in businesses. Thank you.